Well guys, we did it again. We bought another palette. So this one is an Amazon palette. We have no idea what's in there. There was no guaranteed MSRP on it. So we paid $650 for it and it could be worth nothing. It could be worth a lot, but all the profits go to you guys. So before it gets too dark, we're gonna actually take this stuff off the truck and move it into the garage. And then tomorrow we're gonna start opening the packages. I am 5'2". How tall is it? Eight, Eight feet? feet? maybe, yeah. Pretty sweet. I don't know what that is. A meat slicer? <laughs> I don't think this is the right method. Oh no. <laughs> Babe, I'm serious. Is it gonna fall? I don't know. I'm holding it together. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> Get a ladder! <laughs> So if you've never heard of an Amazon return pallet before, basically what it is, is that when you return an item to Amazon, uh, instead of restocking that item, that would cost them a lot logistically. Instead, they just put them on pallets and then sell them by the semi-truck load. So then uh, what people do is buy a semi-truck load and then sell them by the pallet to resellers like us. It's really becoming a big thing nowadays, especially if you have an Amazon distribution center near you. Mm -hmm. um, I would just go on Facebook and search for pallet liquidation um, and you'll find a bunch of different groups and a lot of these guys will either auction them off or like we did, will open up their warehouse for you to come pick one. This is our first time picking a mystery palette. We've bought them before where we kind of could see what was on it and we also knew the MSRP. Mm -hmm. This one, it could be total hit or miss. So we're hoping to score, but it also could be a flop. And today's the hottest day of the year, so we decided to bring the packages inside to open them. But before we start opening these, we want to talk about today's video sponsor, Cove Audio. I just wanted to tell you I love What? I can't hear you. Just wanted to tell you I love Cove Audio's commuter portable Bluetooth speaker. It has a 30 foot range, a seven hour battery life, and 360 degree sound. So I could give you one of these speakers and then keep the other one outside and we could both be vibing to the same jams. And just listen to this sound quality. Wow, how much does it cost? I'm so glad you asked. Normally the price is $229, but if you use the code Jamie and Sarah at checkout, you can get a 67% discount, bringing the price down to $82.50. How sweet of a deal is that? So again, use the code Jamie and Sarah at checkout or just click the link below. Wow, what an amazing deal. I'll be right out. Oh, and I love you too. So if you guys have been watching for a while, you know that we give away our profits from all of our flips to someone in the comment section. So stay tuned to the end of this video to find out the winner from our last flipping video, which was $175 profit. So today our goal is just to find out our total MSRP. Um, so any box that it's obvious what the product is inside, we're just gonna set aside. The mystery boxes we're gonna open and see what they are, but um, later on we're gonna test everything before we list it to make sure they work and make sure there's no broken parts. All right, should we get into it? Let's do it. All right. First item on deck, Fritos. Food. Looks yeah. like Fritos. <laughs> yep, I don't think we can resell that. So that's a bummer. This is a, what are you doing? What? Clicking this. Do you want one? No thanks. Okay, mm. this is a one inch shower curtain rod, but it's brass. Kind of cool. All right, we got our first mystery box here. See what it is. Looks like like a garden hose holder of sorts. I feel like it says no actual hose, just like stuff for it. All right, this is another mystery box here. This I have no idea what it is. So let's see what we got. Tiny little guy. <laughs> oh yeah! Yay! <laughs> Pop-Tarts. Don't even act like you're not excited about that. I will eat those. I'll eat the Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Honeywell dehumidifier. Uh, those can be expensive, and that one's unopened, so that's a good sign. Mystery box. Let's see what's in this one. We have not had good luck yet, so in our mystery boxes. Oh, sorry. Gotcha. Okay. 
Ooh, something trendy looking maybe. Yeah. Some sort of. Oh, it's like a bathroom vanity light. Ah, that's kind of cool. Pretty actually. Cool. Pretty modern looking. <laughs> that's I think pretty it's cool. That's pretty cool. That might be worth something. Yeah. Box is shredded, but. Yeah. Okay. All right. At least it wasn't pop tarts. This one <laughs> is pretty cool. Uh, it's a bounce house. So I looked it up. I think they're about 300 bucks, but Ruby's gonna want us to keep it. <laughs> uh, we are gonna have to test this one because it's definitely been opened. We wanna make sure there's no rips in it. So uh, we're gonna have some fun with it before we sell it. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Oh. You got it. Mystery box. Mystery box. There so, you go. Not too promising. It's very light. Wait, wait. Yeah. Picture frame. Oh. Oh. oh, these are cool. You know what, what is this it? is? No, I don't. I think this is one of those like throw it up tent things. Really? For like babies or just for like shade, I think. Pop up tent. Maybe we should, we're going camping this weekend. Maybe we should take this. More food. Apparently a lot of people buy food on Amazon, but. And then return it. And return it, yeah. Maybe good with poke bowls, right? We do make a mean poke bowl, that's for sure. I'll keep it. Amazon will also put on these pallets boxes from their warehouse that have just been destroyed for some reason or other, so it's not always returns. So that could be what those are. Yeah. It's true. like just a bad box. Another air cooler, which I think is a dehumidifier or something. Okay. All right. So this one, unfortunately, is toilet paper, although. We will use it, so, but not sellable. Could've used this about a year ago, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty sweet, actually. Golf putting mat. This one I'm feeling good about. I think it's probably clothing or something, but. Some Gucci. Some Gucci, yeah. <laughs> Looks like a comforter. comforter, or no, it's a duvet. Duvet. No, no, no. Yeah, because no. you put a duvet cover on it, right? Yeah, okay, but it's still a comforter. <laughs> I don't know. It's a duvet. Looks like we got another mystery box. It doesn't feel like anything valuable though. Looks like maybe wipes. Let's open it and find out. I don't think we can use these, can we? Yeah. Women's underwear. Man. At least some of the other ones we could use, like the Pop-Tarts. Maybe we could donate them or something? I don't know. All right, so we got an espresso. We got a few of these on our last palette, but they actually didn't sell as quickly as I had hoped, and some of them were missing parts we had to like order, so. Want Join Blender. Okay. Mm. Both look us up. Those can vary in price greatly, so yeah. could be a good one, could be a crappy one. This one, Zevia. I'm pretty sure that's what's inside. Basically a sugar substitute. We got a lot of food products on this one. I was not expecting. Um, this one, maybe someone would buy it though, like who has a restaurant, I don't know. Cause it's a lot, that's a lot of Zevia right there. Looks like we have an office chair, brand new. So maybe resellable, probably not for much money though. Doesn't seem like a very quality one. All right, Geek Chef espresso machine. Don't know how much these cost, but like Sarah said, they may or may not sell, we'll see. Yeah, we noticed that a lot of the kitchen appliances uh, don't sell for very much on Marketplace in our area. Probably because so many people are buying pallets and flipping them. Yeah. What's this? High capacity ventilator. Vent for your bathroom maybe, or your kitchen? Yeah, we'll have to yeah. open that one. Mystery box. All right, what do you got here? Oh, wow. wow. What is it? It's a potty, I think. <laughs> potty <laughs> booster, <laughs> woo! Such a dad. Right? <laughs> Some of this medical stuff may be pretty profitable though. We'll see. I yeah. mean, I know it's it's not as cheap as it looks. <laughs> Probably right? true, yeah. yeah. You want to put it back in the box? Oh yeah. At least it was unused, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is a mystery box, but I don't need to open it because it says wet ones for pets. <laughs> so there you go. For like their behinds or like... <laughs> I don't know. Probably like their paws. For their paws? Yeah. This is kind of cool. This is a heat press. Um, I think for like making t-shirts. I looked it up. I'm not sure the exact model number yet, but they're a couple hundred dollars. So just so you guys know how we are listing all this stuff is a lot of it's going on Facebook Marketplace, the stuff that I think will sell pretty well in our area. 
Um, but then a lot of this stuff will go on eBay and that kind of opens up who we're selling to to nationwide. So that'll work better for the more obscure items. More Presto toilet paper. So how are you feeling so far? <laughs> we got a lot more food in toilet paper than I thought we would. We didn't see much of that when we were buying the palette. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like this polyfill, for example, is on the inside, so. I mean, I think this is what palette flipping is, is half of it is stuff that isn't super great to sell, but then half of it is, and you still make profit, so don't lose hope. So this polyfill is a big box, but it's only worth like 50 bucks, like brand new. So, it could make a lot of pillows. <laughs> oh. Time for another mystery box. Here we go. What's this? Mm. Okay. Let's see here, what do we got? Oh, it's a piece of workout equipment. Oh, okay. Do you do like push-ups or do you stand on it? Let us know in the comment section. We really work out a lot. Yeah, we, you know, <laughs> we hit the gym a lot, but you know, we usually stick to the freeways. We don't do this like jump yeah. stuff, so. Whatever. All right, we got another mystery box here. Ah. Mm. 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 Furnace filters, which actually it's are kind nice. of expensive. These would not fit ours, no. Mm. Uh, but like, this looks like a pretty good uh, a brand too. So like, when I buy ours, I think they're like nine or ten bucks a piece. So. But like, who's gonna be on marketplace to buy that? You know what I mean? Or eBay? I don't know. If you make them cheap enough, I think we can sell something like this. I yeah, for sure. It's like a cool modern like IKEA type end table. So I don't know. Maybe broken. 20 bucks maybe. Or maybe it's broken. Yeah. Baby high chair. Yeah. We saw a lot of other palettes there with baby stuff on it. We didn't know for sure not how that stuff would sell on marketplace. Just because some baby stuff you're not supposed to buy used. So we're gonna test it out with this one, but maybe next time we'll have to get a baby item palette. Yeah, yeah that'd be cool. We'll see. <laughs> this one seems heavy, so I'm hoping it's not uh, Fritos or toilet paper. Yeah. How many boxes have we got here? Oh, a lot of boxes. Oh, another box. What? I think I know what this is. You do? Why is this for like displays? I think this is. These are shoebox displays. Like if you got, you know, the new Yeezys or something, you might put them in an, in a shoebox. So. <laughs> no way. There's three of them in here though. What? Like a plastic, like, like... A glass, yeah. <laughs> Display your, your shoes. Oh, that's random. All right, you wanna do this one? Sure. Got a lot of mystery boxes, which is kind of exciting. That's fun. Nothing super valuable yet, though. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sort of a... This? Something. It's a gun case. It is? Yeah, it feels heavy though. I wonder if there's a gun in it. No. Oh it's heavy. Ooh. What is that? All right, guys, we got some something weird here. <laughs> Look at this. So this is a digital manifold pressure tester. Wow. So maybe for like auto repair or like air conditioner repair. I don't know. But that to me seems pretty valuable. We should. You want to look this up right now? See. Sure. Curious. So she found it, 170 bucks. So that's actually a pretty good find for how small the box was. Pretty random too. Yeah. This box says fragile. And I hear something fragile broken in there. Oh. Hmm. What is that? An out exterior light? Oh yeah, it's totally light. But well, the glass part's not in those. The glass part is probably. Oh. One of them might be. Yeah, let's just leave it in there. For okay. In the, if we were in the garage, I might take that out, but. Yeah, so two, two lights of sorts. I think this one feels pretty light. I like these mystery boxes. They're more fun. Okay, duffel bag or. Duffel bag. Ooh. Something? Yeah. Yeah, duffel bag. Sir Cove, duffel bag. Oh no, it's a pet bag. Look. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at Sweet. this bag, it has holes in it. For your kitty, Sweet. or your puppy. A little pet bag. It's a, yeah, it's for... For flying, yeah. <gasps> Sweet. Cute. That's cool. 
this is some sort of artwork, which I don't think will be worth much, but. Can I open one? Oh yeah, sorry. She's opening them all. <laughs> This is a, it's like Christmas morning, you know? It's kind of fun. Let's see what we got. Naked ladies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, they're just for photos? Yeah, they're just frames. They're just photos. All right. Got another dehumidifier here, right? Is that what it is? Yep. Sarah, look these up. This one is like 400, so. That might be our biggest ticket item. Yeah. Besides the bounce house, maybe? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Mystery? Yeah. You wanna do it? Mystery box. I get to open this one. Okay. Hmm. Oh, dude. It's a BB gun. <laughs> sweet. Nice. That's a BB gun. It's a BB gun. And actually, Ruger, that's a pretty good brand, so this might be worth. I don't know, 80 bucks maybe, we'll see. Yeah. So Sarah looked this up so we don't have to open it. It's called a transfer bench, mm -hmm. uh, which is just another medical supply um, for I think getting in and out of like a bathtub or something, right? Yeah, or a toilet maybe. So. Yeah, so um, it's kind of expensive stuff though. So mm -hmm. if we can sell it, we probably make a pretty good profit. Yeah. Yeah. What's huh? this chain? Oh, I don't know. I thought it was that. Chain. No. <laughs> We're getting down here. Mm. How many packages does this bag? We should count. Ooh. 40 or 50, probably. Yeah. All right, big money, big money. Yeah. Woo! What is that? Some light, maybe? Uh, a bubble machine? Whoa, fan? it's like a big so fan here. Inline tube fan? A tube fan? What's that for? For like blowing up, like like the guy at the car wash. Oh, does yeah. Oh, what if there was another package with that dude in it? Window regulator. What's that? This. You know what that is? No. Oh, look, for a car. Oh, to like fix your car window if it's broken. <laughs> like, like, like to open your up your car door. Broken? To like fix the mechanics oh. of it. Look. These mystery boxes are sweet. <laughs> I don't know if they're profitable, but they're sweet. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Okay, something, some oh, like sort of like a malt thing. thing. Yeah, malt Looks thing. like it might be missing pieces. That's heavy though, that feels like intense. All right, another surprise box. Here we go. Ooh, what's this? Hmm. Yeah. It's kind of gross. Cap for like an RV or something? Oh no. Litter box. Oh, litter box. We got a litter box here, guys. Ooh. Used. Ooh. Smells. So we got another surprise box here, but this one says pole sleigh on it. So we're gonna see what that means. It's exactly what it sounds like. Thing. It's pretty cool looking, but you can see something is broken here. Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Wow. It's the bottom part there. Oh, yeah. That's kind right. of a bummer. Yeah. Oh, okay. More medical stuff. This is a, a boot. So, this is another medical thing. It's like a boot if you break your leg. So, I don't know how much these cost, but I think kind of expensive. All right guys, another mystery box. This is the second to last package. Let's see what we got here. I don't know what this is. It has some like hoses and stuff, so I did find a model number. I'm gonna look that up and see exactly what we got here. All right, so I found out what this is. This is a telescopic pressure washer extension. So, um, it's to maybe reach higher areas with your pressure washer. So if you're power washing your house, you need to reach up to the top of the peaks. You want this, I guess. All right. This is the last and most heavy item, a weight bench. Um, you know, I'm at the gym so much anyways that, uh, you know, I don't think it really have a use for this. So uh, we'll sell it. 
kidding. But anyways, I think we'll probably make 50 or 75 bucks off this. But this one will definitely be a Facebook Marketplace sale because it's way too heavy to ship on eBay. <laughs> you like opening boxes? <laughs> we opened a lot of boxes yesterday. We spent most of the afternoon opening all the boxes, seeing what was inside. Um, and Sarah actually recorded the retail value of all the items on a spreadsheet. So what I did as we were going through boxes, I would look up the item number on Amazon and find the retail value. And then I would insert it into my little spreadsheet here. So we spent $650 on this palette and our MSRP is $3,829. Plus we have a good supply of toilet paper and Doritos for a while, so yeah. that's a and plus. Rice. Yeah. So that's not including the unsellable items like the food or paper products, uh, but still that is a huge MSRP. We're like super excited and surprised that it was that much. So this was a mystery palette. We had no idea what the MSRP was, so it was a little bit of a gamble. In the past we've spent $500 for a guaranteed MSRP of $2,000. So this is actually a lot better. However, some of those might be broken. Some of them also might just not sell, like some of the smaller items that just don't make a lot of sense to buy used. So even though that's the MSRP, that doesn't mean that that's what our profits will be. Um, if you watched any of our other palette flipping videos, our last one, I think we got around 40 to 50% MSRP for our items. So even if we only sell these items at a 40 to 50% MSRP, we're hoping that we can at least make $1,000 on this palette flip. It's going to be a lot of work because we have about 40 items to sell, uh, but we learned a lot last time and I think this time will be a little bit easier for us. So in upcoming videos, we'll be sharing a little bit more of the behind the scenes process of it, how we're listing things, how we're selling them, how we're shipping them, some of those um, seller fees and that kind of thing. So we will be sharing all the details in an upcoming video. So if you guys have been around for a while, you know that we are giving away our profits from all of our flips on this channel to someone in the comment section. So. We started doing this a few weeks ago. It's super fun. We hope it's a way to just encourage you guys and be a source of motivation, whether that money is needed for necessities or to help you start a side hustle or that kind of thing. So we're hoping just to be a good, happy place on the internet. So we are giving away the profits to someone in the comment section. For the giveaway, we're gonna do the same as last time where we scroll through the comments and wherever the cursor stops, that is the winner. So our total profit from our last video was $175. And you should go check that video out. It was pretty fun. We flipped 90 stuff. So pretty sweet. We had fun with it. So we had 616 comments on this last video. Thank you guys. We also had 709 likes. So better ratio than before. Before a lot of you commented but didn't like. So thanks for liking this one. Yeah, there's one thumbs down. Hmm. So hmm. that's OK. Okay. Go for it. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. How far, how long should I go? Mm, what if I'm stop. not moving? <gasps> no, I'm not ready. I gotta go back up. <laughs> okay, ready, right. set. This one. Sarah Devrugd. Whoa, I'm sure you butchered that. Okay. Sarah Devrugd. All right. Sounds Dutch. Sarah's Dutch. That's Dude, true. Sarah. I'm also named Sarah, so that's cool. Woohoo, Sarah! Woo! <laughs> okay. If you would, within the next week, please email us at the email address in our About tab, uh, and then we can verify that it's you and figure out how you'd like to be paid, whether PayPal, Venmo, etc. cetera. Mm -hmm. We're hoping we're able to get some cool stories back from you guys too, uh, as to how you use the money, and I think it'll be really inspiring to others. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't seen any of our other palette videos, go watch those now. We'll link them below. See you next time. Bye. Well, guys, thanks for watching. 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 <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>